Some Irish drinks, as we all know, are world famous. However, wine is not one of them. There are good conditions for some grape varieties in Ireland. Right at the front is a winemaker, is a German. Irish whiskey, of course, stout beer and cream liquors from the Green Island are also known, and Guinness anyway. Around 10 million glasses of the famous beer are drunk around the world every day. But wine from Ireland? In fact, there is wine growing on Whiskey Island. The large estate is located in Kinsale in the far south of the Republic of Ireland and belongs to Thomas Walk, a German from Lower Franconia, that's in Bavaria. Ireland is green, thanks to the Gulf Stream that flows past the island. The lush meadows and exotic plants along the coast like to be warm and humid, but most grape varieties don't really like such climate. But Walk and a few other winemakers have found grapes that do well there. But how does someone get the idea to grow wine in Ireland? The explanations are as simple as they are logical that Walk gives. The only German wines available here were Liebfrauenmilch and, and Blue Nun. And wine is so expensive here, so we thought we'll do it ourselves. Walk grew up in wine-growing regions in Lower Franconia and has ancestors in an established wine-growing family in southern Baden. And he says, we bought this property on the edge of the Bay of Kinsale, or Kinsale a good 40 years ago, and um, the village is considered the gourmet stronghold of Ireland and is about half an hour south of Cork, the second largest city in the south of the, Re of the Republic. And Valk says, 15 years later, we were able to add a little more space. There are around 4,800 vines on the Thomas Valk vine vineyard. Compared to the larger wineries in Germany, which have an average farm size of almost 13 hectares and around 100,000 vines, it really isn't that big. For Ireland, it is. The other vineries, for example, Wicklow, um, Wicklow Way Wines, south of Dublin, David Llewellyn's Orchard, Orchard in Lusk, David Dennison's Viking Wines in Waterford and Bunratty Mead in uh, County Clare are even smaller. Traditionally, beer is much more popular in Ireland, but in the pandemic, wine sales rose by 12% to more than 10 million boxes. And the reason is, wine is drunk more often at home in Ireland and is not so strongly associated with the going out factor and a visit to the pub in contrast to beer and cider. Every fourth bottle of wine sold in the country comes from Chile, followed by Spain and Australia. Domestic wine is still rare. Cultivation on the Green Island is said to have a tradition. Archaeologists say that the Celts tried to throw grape wines and produce the alcohol grape juice as early as the 5th century before uh, BC. However, other sources claim that there were no vines in Ireland until the 12th century. The oldest wine in Valk's uh, basement is much younger, from 1989. That was also the first successful harvest. We only opened one of the bottles on special occasions, he says. Understandable. After all, it took him a lot of time and nerves be before he could even reap a profit from the hills overlooking the sea. Valk planted, cared for and had to give up 12 different grape varieties, from Müller-Thurgau to Pinot Noir to Riesling. The Müller-Thurgau has grown like crazy, but has not borne fruit. The white species didn't work for us, for, for all of us, so it had to be a red one. David Dennison from Viking Vines, for example, now also grows white varieties with Solaris and Bacchus. Only a relatively young type of vine, which proved to be uh, very fungus resistant in the warm and humid environment, brought success in 1985. Rondo is a grapevine that produces a ruby red full-bodied wine. Valk says, we were the first to grow this variety in the British Isles, or in this case on the Irish island. Meanwhile, Rondo is also available in other places in Ireland and also in England. Sustainability is playing an increasingly important role. This also applies to most of the other wines from Ireland. Some have an organic label on the label. The winemaker in Kinsale is happy that he doesn't have to use pesticides, fungicides or herbicides. It allows the wines to grow enough so that you don't have to bend down so much during harvest and to be able to leave grasses and plants under the vines. He only uses a vintage tractor 
to bring the trailer with the grapes a few meters up to the house. And while strolling in the vineyard, he lifts a few leaves and is quite happy about this. This will be a good harvest this year, he says. In the cultivation at home, the wine is stored in large barrels. Bottling and corking is always a joint project, he says. Children and grandchildren and friends come to help. It can be anywhere from zero to several hundred, hundred bottles, depending on the yield. The wine is labeled and shipped in Germany. Valk himself is based in Aschaffenburg, but is also drunk in Ireland. Some restaurants take them off uh, regularly. Valk says it's still a novelty to have Irish wine on the menu. But it shouldn't stay that way forever, believes John Wilson, wine critic at the Irish Times. He says Wales has more than 15 wineries, which sounds very promising to us in Ireland. Who says we can't have our own wine industry? And I definitely have to try that after um, getting those informations now. I'll keep you posted when I, when I find them. I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.